What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Road to Sub 3, Episode 4. I have not learned Yao yet. However, I am currently learning it, started learning it last week, continuing into this upcoming week. Hopefully next video, I'm going to start using the Yao method and exclusively the Yao method. That way, even though I'm going to be a lot slower at first, we're going to learn this new method and we are going to get better times eventually. So just for the future, we are continuing to learn that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this week's questions. And again, if you guys have any questions about literally anything, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will answer them in the following week. Sergeant R6 Moto Vlogs, what a name, says, if you could see any OG cube tuber that doesn't make videos anymore, who would you want to see? This is a really good question. There's three main OG cube tubers that I remember. There is Crazy Bad Cuber, Red KB, and JR Cuber. They're all very, very different vibes. My least favorite was probably JR Cuber. Seems like a cool guy overall, but it seemed like every single cube review video that he ever did, the cube ended up being buttery smooth. And then I went ahead and bought these cubes and they were nothing like he described. Probably next, I'd rate Red KB as number two. Didn't watch him as much. And then Crazy Bad Cuber as number one. Probably my all time favorite OG Cube Tuber. Love that guy. Flame VR3 says, What is your slowest competition time? I haven't been to a competition in maybe 10, 11, 12 years. It's been a long, long time, guys. But I think that my worst time ever was probably like 35 seconds. Again, this was way back in the day. I was still using like a uh, 1970s Rubik's brand, like one of the worst cubes ever made in existence. Absolutely horrible cube. And everyone gets slower times in competitions. I was really cheating myself in practicing, setting myself up for good solves. And I was solving in 25, 26 seconds, go to the competition. You know, these are real life solves scrambled for real and I was not doing well. So just another reason to never cheat yourself in cubing. But to answer your question, I think it was like 35 seconds. Cubing with Handy says, when you were a kid, what did you wanna be when you grew up? This is a loaded question because as a kid, I never had any idea of what I wanted to be. It probably wasn't until I turned maybe 16 or 17 that I actually figured it out. I always wanted a really highly respected career, and I loved playing with Legos, playing Minecraft, and solving math problems as a kid. So I ended up becoming an architect, and then ended up specializing in nuclear architecture, building nuclear power plants, which is one of the coolest things ever. Definitely not for everybody, but it's what I really think my childhood set me up for, and I love the job, so that's what I ended up doing. Cuber83 says, what timer app do you use when you go somewhere and you don't have a computer and you can't use CS timer? You guys are gonna hate me. I just use the iPhone clock app. I know it's horrible, I know, I know, but it's a really easy way to just time yourself while cubing. And I never really liked all the cubing timer apps because a ton of them have ads and just the experience is not how I'd want it to be. Dini Z Consone. I know I butchered your name, so I apologize. He says, which is your favorite video that you made? Like what was the most fun YouTube video to record? There is a couple that I particularly loved recording. I did a lot of Will It Lube episodes maybe six months ago, um, and that's one video that I enjoyed making, but it never really got views. And I don't know if I had bad thumbnails, whatever. I thought they'd get a lot of views. They never did, but I really enjoyed making them. And it was fun to just kind of see what would happen in like all these different circumstances. If I was putting, you know, WD-40 in a cube or putting something absurd like ice cream in a cube, it was a lot of fun to me to just see what happens. But I think the all time favorite video that I made, it was a BattleBot versus Rubik's Cube. And I partnered with this BattleBot team that had these like really gnarly robots with, with like knives and uh, I don't even know, saws on them and stuff. And uh, I put my GAN 11M Pro in the ring. 
uh, and it was freaking awesome. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I highly recommend going back maybe a year on my channel and checking it out. Next question comes in from that Moyu Cuber. He says light mode or dark mode for anything like browsers or apps. If you guys couldn't tell, I specifically changed my CS timer to be in dark mode. Uh, absolutely love dark mode and it's way easier to use at night. Uses less battery on your phone. Love dark mode, love it. User uh, with a lot of letters after his name says, what's your least favorite WCA event what cube do you really want to buy? And why did you choose architecture as your major? Uh, let's start at the start here. Uh, least favorite WCA event has got to be clock or square one, mainly because I don't know how to solve those. Um, nothing wrong with them. Square one is actually horribly hard. So forgive me. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are, the, those are two that I really don't like to solve in competitions. Uh, I like watching them a lot more. Uh, what cube do I really want to buy? I am at a point where I can afford really any cube I wanna buy. Um, and mainly I just buy a ton of three by threes so I can put them on the channel. Um, but if I could have like one cube, I'd love to have a 21 by 21. I think that would be freaking awesome. However, personally, I don't like to use my like personal money on Rubik's cubes. I'll just use all my YouTube funds. And normally that means um, not a lot of money. YouTube does not make a lot of money, guys. Um, but I usually give away uh, most of my proceeds and donate a handful of the rest of them unless there's like a really new cube that I wanna get. Um, so I never really had the funds to get a 21 by 21. Um, I could definitely do it with my personal money. But again, I like to keep the finances a little bit separate there. Um, and why did I choose architecture as my major? That is a loaded question that we kind of answered at the start, but highly respected career. Um, it was really cool in school. Like people would ask what you do, what are you majoring in? And the second you told them architecture, their face would go pale. If you guys don't know anything about architecture school, it is very, very time consuming. I was in classes, maybe seven to 10 hours a day. And then out of class, I was working on projects, drawings, models of buildings, probably an additional 80 hours a week. And that was an average. I mean, there's weeks with a little bit less, there's weeks with a little bit more. Very time consuming, not a lot of time to do other stuff, but it's a really cool, really rewarding career. Um, and I kind of went over that at the start, but I absolutely love it and highly recommend if you're a kid wanting to know what to do. If you like Rubik's Cubes, there's probably a high chance you like architecture or probably engineering. But that is all the time I have for questions this week. If you made it to the end of the video, comment five by five to confuse everybody else in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. Highly appreciate it. Helps me out a ton and looking forward to filming the next week of this video. Appreciate y'all for watching and we will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the solves. Peace.